Commerce Alive to Die presents Peckinger. Sidney Heckinger had initially established himself in the wrecking and salvage business in 1911 and in 1919 opened his first hardware store in southwest Washington, D.C. Sidney Heckinger focused his hardware business exclusively on retail customers in 1924 as chewing contractors and builders. His decision foresaw the rise of the home improvement industry before the sector even had a name. The five-store company reorganized in 1953 with Sydney's son John and son-in-law Richard England becoming partners in the company which was divided into a retail hardware business and a wholesale building supplies company the latter being called Richard England Associates. John also served as the first appointed city council chairman of Washington, D.C. In 1972 John Heckinger Sr. and brother-in-law Richard England took the 10-store company public with an offering of 400,000 shares. John Heckinger Jr. became the third generation of Heckingers to head the company when he was named president of the 54-store chain in 1986. Later that year Heckinger announced plans to reign corporate in Delaware which was approved in a January 1987 shareholders meeting. Heckinger had grown to a 69-store chain by the time it made its December 1987 offer to acquire the six stores of Virginia Beach, Virginia-based Home Quarters Warehouse, HQ, for $66 million. HQ had been founded in 1984 by W.R. Grace & Co. in the mold of big-box stores such as Home Depot and operated as a separate division of Heckinger. In the 1980s it underwent a massive expansion of both HQ and the Heckinger divisions opening big box stores to better compete with rivals Home Depot and Lowe's. In January 1995 Heckinger announced it would close or reformat 22 of its 131 stores including closing all 14 of the Home Quarters Warehouse stores in North and South Carolina. In August of that year Heckinger consolidated HQ with Heckinger in a further restructuring. Searching for a niche Heckinger management in 1997 launched new smaller concept stores such as Better Spaces in Albany, New York in February and Y River Hardware and Home in Wheaton and Rockville in August. In July 1997 Los Angeles, California-based investors Leonard Green and Partners announced plans to buy Heckinger for $3 per share or about $127 million intending to merge Heckinger with Builders Square which it had purchased from Kmart for $10 million. However when Heckinger posted a second quarter loss of $40.6 million in August Leonard Green cut their offer price and ultimately purchased Heckinger Company for $2.375 per share. After several rounds of store closings the Heckinger company filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection on June 11, 1999 but the reorganization failed. Later that year in September 1999 Heckinger's assets were liquidated including its 117 remaining stores. In 2004 Home Decor Products bought the Heckinger brand name and opened an online retailer the following year which sold the same products as the former brand. On February 5, 2009 it was announced that the site would shut down and Heckinger would no longer sell tools. The site closed shortly thereafter. This is impossible. A General Electric holiday light set for only $6.84 or a Black & Decker cordless screwdriver for $39. Sand snorkeling. Now there's something you don't see every day. Yeah. You really don't see a shop vac wet dry vacuum for $49 and a hunter set and save thermostat for $19. Better go to Heckinger. If you have any fond memories, please indicate it at the comments below.
Thanks for watching, subscribe and like.